Hey, so I love rendering with passes because it gives you so much control over your final image. Um, usually I do that with animated scenes, but today I'm going to show you how I do it with a um, just a still image. And I'm going to show you all the passes and then how to bring them into After Effects and composite. So here's just the image that we're going to need. This is the beauty pass, so we really are going to break it down. Um, if I go to our render settings up here and we're going to select multi-pass and now that gives us the option to render and pass. So we're going to go to this multi-pass button and we're going to add image layers and that will give us a lot of different passes that um, some we don't even need like atmosphere multiply and BL raw caustics uh, even some of these we probably won't need but it's okay we can uh, keep them for now but you can do some uh, testing when you're doing your render and see what works for your scene what some of these won't even be used I mean if you don't have glass you don't need refraction or um, if you don't have like metal you might not need specular I don't know so okay um, after this, we're going to go back into our render settings, into the uh, outputs. Okay, for now, I'm just rendering one. We're going to uh, render in with PNGs instead of the other options. You can render with the XR or whatever you choose, but I found that PNGs work pretty well. I'm switching the depth from 8 to 16, uh, and... I'm not selecting the alpha channel because I don't need a transparent background, but if you were to render with a transparent background, you'd want that. And now I just need to find the uh, file destination. So here's a good spot. I've got it. Um, I'll save it there and also there. Save. Okay, so that it's about as simple as that I'm going to render it out uh, also let me just quickly go to this this is this is a key uh, element that's really great about cinema 4d is you can save it um, a project file an after effects project file that you can open and it does all of the layering for you um, and the compositing instantly so right now all we need is save and target after effects and we need to save it to we're actually going to save it later i think let me just call it scene render um and uh yeah now it's i think that should be fine um and now we're going to render it out so we just click our little this button and Give it a little wait now and up. Oh, there we go. I'll be back when it is finished rendering. Okay, now you can see uh, in your history, you see how long it took, 12 seconds. We can go to layer. We can go and see all the different layers that we rendered, atmosphere, refraction, Shadow is a cool one. If I want to look just at the single pass, some of these are very subtle. You can see atmosphere was not needed, probably, um, unless I animated something in, but don't need it. Ambient occlusion. I've got some color in my ambient occlusion. Global illumination we didn't need. Ambient, a uh, little bit on the wheels. Shadow, specular diffuse. Okay, and the diffuse is going to be just your color. So this is great. I'm going to now open up my file and we're going to double click scene render and it should bring us into After Effects. Okay, so it automatically takes us to After Effects and we have a um, comp created and they're very short, so it's just here. But uh, if we take a nice look at it up close, you can see that these uh, layers are, the modes are already created. Multiply for ambient occlusion. You can see it with or without. It's very subtle, but you'll see under the wheel, it um, connects there. 
different layers. It allows you to really have control over the look and the style of your image after you've made it. So this is um, such a great tool with Cinema 4D. I love it. One last thing, if you don't have um, the ability to open up After Effects using the, um, the pre-made project file, you may have to go into, like, like I, I did the AEC file, you may have to go into your um, Cinema 4D on your, on your hard drive, your um, exchange plugins. So you would go all the way to your Pro, uh, your Max and Cinema 4D file and go into Exchange Plugins, After Effects, Importer, and then it should take you to the C4D Importer. And then you would copy and paste that into your Format folder within After Effects 2022. So you'd have to go into your After Effects folder. Um, oh, goodness. <laughs> And then all the way down to plugins and then format and then paste it in there. So I think mine was fine, but uh, I think that's a common issue. So yeah, there you go. And then if you render out more than one frame, you can, they'll still come in as a image sequence and you can animate and change the reflection later on and do some really cool editing. So um, I hope that uh, you guys try it out because it's really worth it. All right. Thank you. Bye.